All right, so I have my shallots and peppercorns with a little bit of white wine vinegar that I reduced together here. Now, I'm going to strain this into some egg yolks, but if I put this hot stuff right into some egg yolks, guess what might happen? Scrambled eggs. That's not what we're making today. We're making poached eggs. <laughs> So I have a little water bath that I'm setting up. I'm going to cook my hollandaise sauce over it gently. And I have some butter that I clarified, two sticks. I skimmed off the milk solids. So I'm separating three eggs. My whites I'm kind of ditching. You know, if you want to save your three egg whites for another purpose, you know, if you want to make an omelet or if you're going to use it for baking, go ahead and knock yourself out. But you know, for right now, I'm just letting it rip with my yolks. So I added my ice cubes in here. I'm going to I'm going to strain them out, strain out my shallots and peppercorns. Look at this, beautiful. So I have my pepper and shallots in there, and I cooled everything down with my ice cubes. I'm grabbing my whisk, and I'm just going to whisk this up till these get nice and frothy and foamy. All right, there we go, frothy, foamy. Now, I'm putting this on a water bath that goes ever so gently. This is where, when I was in culinary school, and as I said, a young cook, I was very you know, worried about this part because you can make scrambled eggs, but we have some insurance policies. The vinegar and the reduction will help not make scrambled eggs. And I have a little bowl of ice cubes here that if I see my eggs start to get away from me, then I go ahead and add one in, take that off, and I can play with this. But the whole idea is that we wanna cook these eggs till they're fluffy and foamy, and we start to gently add in our butter. This is an emulsion. We go drop by drop until all of this is incorporated. Ooh. Once you see a smooth, fluffy sauce, Go ahead and add your butter in a little bit faster. Ooh, beautiful. So my butter is all combined. Look at this, I have a fluffy, foamy sauce and it's gonna be perfect to go over some eggs with. So I'm gonna add a tiny bit of cayenne pepper just to give a little spicy poke. This is a really rich sauce. It's egg yolks and butter. And then also to really refresh your palate, I'm gonna add in a squeeze of fresh lemon juice. So I have some water here that I brought up to a boil and I'm adding some vinegar. This is my poaching vessel. I love poached eggs. They are absolutely my egg of choice. So. I brought my water up to a boil. I added some vinegar to it. And what happens there is when I drop my poached egg in here or my egg in here to poach, the whites start to coagulate instantly. And that's what we are looking for in a poached egg. We're cooking them ever so gently. So we drop them in close to the surface of the water. So look at that. And we start to see it form a perfect little egg package. What happens is the white cooks and the yolk stays warm and runny. And I'm poaching ahead. Who knew you could do that? So I'm poaching. I poach these guys for about four minutes and then I put them in a bowl of cool water. And I could have poached yesterday. Sometimes when we work in restaurants, we poach yesterday. <gasps> Who knew? I love little tips like that. So I toasted my English muffins. And I toasted some brioche. Look at this cute little stuff. Perfect vessel for my strawberry raspberry jam. Okay, now oh, I have my Canadian bacon that I heated up. Look at this. Hello, beautiful. Poached eggs make me just a happy girl. And it really is such a sad thing when you get one when, when the yolk is cooked through. That's not fun. Okay, so my hollandaise sauce that I made, my fluffy yellow beautiful sauce. Look at this, I kept it warm over my water bath that I cooked it over. Look at that. Oh, hello, beautiful eggs. Oh my gosh. You know, like really you put eggs on anything and it makes me a happy girl.